What took you so long? Fighting robots? Ha! <laughs> Me too. Oh, speaking of. Okay, and uh, that's my cue. Thanks for the assist, Tony. Hang on, you're not leaving until you explain yourself. I'll be in touch. Thank you, promise. I got your call. I know Director Fury stockpiled Cavorite in many of our shield bunkers across the world. Normally, I'm not the one to gamble shield assets on a hunch. But saving Hawkeye would win us another veteran in our war against AIM. I already put Dugan on the case. From what I've heard, he should have everything ready by now. So you need Cavorite, huh? I might have heard where there's some stashed. Uh, sorry, one sec. Uh, confession time. I've only been pretending to know what Cavorite is. Yeah, it's a kind of volatile element. Packs a punch. We used it to power some uh, S.H.I.E.L.D.'s experimental tech back in the day. I can't use dogs to sniff it out, so I updated your signal tracker. I'll mark the spot on the war table for you. Good luck out there. Purpose this satellite farm to bolster their communications across Siberia. Unfortunately for us, it's also interfering with our signal detector, blocking us from locating the nearby S.H.I.E.L.D. cache. I'm really proud of you, Kate. Ah, please don't. I mean it. Now, I get partial credit, of course, but... You're in your element here. You were always meant to be an Avenger. Yeah, I, uh... I wasn't sure for a while. But even after everything we've been through, mistakes we've made... This is the stupid, messed up family I want to fight for. Does that mean you're staying? Yeah, I'm staying, man. Okay? And sorry, but you're not getting your room back. I am more than okay with the couch. Unless that's a couch. Is that the couch? Welcome to the fight, old friend. It's good to have you back. <laughs> yeah. Could say the same to you. Still can't believe you're alive and kicking. You're damn hard to kill, Cap. Glad you're here, buddy. Now people can finally stop asking where Hawkeye went. What Tony's trying to say is... We really missed you, Clint. Sappy, but true. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Huh. Really took care of things while I was gone, huh? Of course. But tell us of the future, Barton. What perils lie ahead of us? Yeah, that's a lot to take in. So, bear with me here. Wait a sec. That's the robot we fought in San Francisco. The one controlled by MODOK. It's extraterrestrial. In the future, we get attacked by a warrior race called the Kree. And an invasion that'll end the world as we know it. Now, Monica, uh, future Monica, is working with Nick Fury to save the Earth. She's building some sort of weapon. She, she ran out of time in the future, so she's, she's tried bringing it to the past to finish it. Which explains all our tachyon-related trouble. When will this Kree invasion take place, Clint? No idea. I don't know when they're coming, or even why. But I, I know we're horribly outgunned unless we do something. Right, Fury? He convinced Monica to send me to the future to help him, but when I got there, well, he told me we're losing the war. He said, I have to come back and warn you. Look, we all need to start preparing right now. And we will. Tell us where to start, and we'll get right to it. Right, well, we can, uh, you know, I... Oh, no. Clint? Clint! Uh, Bruce! Get the medics, quickly! Come on, stay with me. Stay with me, Clint. Look at me, Barton. Clint? So, Gets, how are you liking the accommodations? Uh, did you come here just to gloat? I did. But, mm. you know, we can cut to the chase if you want. Maria? Dr. Getz, we're well aware of your position in AIM's organization. If you're referring to my demotion, it's a jealous vendetta by that Rappuccini harpy. Ooh, so Monica's not happy with you either, huh? She didn't appreciate your little tachyon disaster, did she? 
I never mentioned Tachyon. Oh, come on, dude. The storms, massive radiation spikes. It's your work, isn't it? Was. My work was never this unstable. What Rappuccini's doing is reckless, suicidal. Now, get me a lawyer. Boop. Ooh, yeah, don't think so. It doesn't really matter, though. I already scanned your, uh, facial structure. A little 3D hard light simulation in your security systems will think my Getz decoy is the real thing. I can see why Rappuccini was so interested in you. Your skills are impressive. What do you mean, interested? She's quite taken with both you and the other Hawkeye. It's a shame you chose the wrong side. Feeling like I made the right choice from here? You know, outside the prison cell? We're done. Guards. Don't let them get to you. These guys always try to mess with your head. Yeah, maybe, but I still need to look into this. If AIM was keeping tabs on Clint, I need to know what they have. Well, we can help. You guys made your priorities clear. Clint wasn't on the list. You know what, I get it. The Avengers have a world to save, you can't just drop everything. But I'm not giving up on my friend. I'll be back soon. Yeah, well, it's all in the breathing, and a bunch of other steps. I guess I know why you're here. Either I'm in trouble, or... We owe you an apology. We all made mistakes, and that meant we weren't there for you when you needed us most. Cap, you were taken prisoner. You've got nothing to apologize for. Yes, I do. I didn't prepare the team to go on without me. Also, I should have made this official a long time ago. You've proved you're an Avenger, Kate. If you'll have us. When I was a kid, I dreamed of hearing you say that. I also dreamed of flying a plane made of gumballs. I'm hoping that's a yes. I'll give it a shot. Yo, Dr. Pym. I hear you've got news about our tachyon situation? Yeah, the good kind. Thanks to your efforts, I've succeeded in locating the origin of the tachyon storms. These pockets of unstable time are all emanating from one central point. Ooh, somewhere nice, I hope. Spain, Italy, <gasps> Wakanda. Not quite. We traced the disruptions to an AIM black site near a hydro dam in Siberia. Oh, mysterious. I like it. So if we shut down this facility, does that mean we'll stop all these time disruptions from happening? Tachyons are highly unstable. Let's see what we're dealing with first. All right, recon it is. You, uh, sure you want me leading this, Cap? You know more about this situation than anyone. I trust you. And if you're ever not sure what to do, just listen to your instincts. They've served you well. That means a lot. Thanks, Cap. Let's do this. Hey, your work paid off, Avengers. I sent... Wow, look at the sky. That can't be good. The tachyon disruptions are affecting the atmosphere. Okay, so uh, what am I looking at? Past and future sky? More like radiation trail. Oh, good. I feel much better about going outside now. Find anything unusual in their system, Jarvis? I'm detecting highly concentrated energy signatures at the very bottom of the facility. Sounds like our tachyon target. It would be at the bottom. Whoa. Things are not okay in here. Jarvis, what are we dealing with? What the hell is that? Keep this quick. I want to keep potential paradoxes to a minimum. How's your progress on the weapon? We're close to a breakthrough. We should be able to send back a working prototype on our next connection. Excellent. Years of scientific progress in less than 30 days. Well, not for me. Patience. It'll be worth it. On that note, I have good news. Our guest finally agreed to help. Remember what's riding on this. Easy, Doc. Deal's a deal. I'll do my part. Kate, you need to destroy that place. Now! No. Fall back.
This is bad. This is really bad. Hey, mind filling us in? Do you know what that thing was? It's a... well, basically it's a bridge through time. I've done research on the concept before, but until now, nobody's been foolish enough to actually try it. Okay, and that's the source of these tachyon disruptions? Whatever she's sending through time is, yes. And if we don't stop them, the storms will eventually tear reality apart. We're talking about time collapsing in on itself. They'll be locking down security after our break-in. But I have an idea. We're gonna build another time bridge. Did, did you not just hear me say tearing reality apart? Messing with time is a bad idea. Exactly. So we are gonna fix it. We're gonna go get Clint out of the wrong timeline, cut Monica off from her future self, that would stop the storms, right? That's still messing with time. That's that that might work. I'll need a few things, but you know what? Maybe. Angels, can you find us a target? Intercepting aim communications. Patrol Delta got lost in a snow squall. Waiting for them to regroup, then we'll head back. Hurry up. Dr. Rappuccini wants extra security in the data center. Monica's using this time bridge for? I don't know. She mentioned years of scientific progress. She's accelerating something, passing it back and forth through time. It's the what that keeps me up at night. And was Clint involved? She keeps secrets like that close. Okay, we grab what we can, then wipe their servers. Monica can't be allowed to make another one. Agreed. Let us know when you're ready. Welcome back. You've gathered enough Cavrite to power the bridge. You have one shot at this. Great. Let's go get Hawkeye. Whoa! Our best shot is to go back a day before he entered Monica's time bridge. You'll need to intercept him before he goes through. After that, we'll have no idea where to find him. Will that be enough time to get there? Monica's lab is all the way in Siberia. Well, that's the fun new experimental part. I'm connecting you to Monica's bridge. When you step through, you'll come out on the other side in her lab. In the past. Time and space? I wanted it to be a surprise. Also, it might not work. But if it does, we can stop Clint and destroy the bridge. That should repair whatever damage Monica's done. I'm gonna go ahead and ignore the might not work part. Nice choice. Do your best not to disrupt the timeline outside of wrecking the bridge. That's risky enough, but what Monica's doing is worse. Ooh, okay, uh, <laughs> I have so many questions. Um, but I like the energy, so let's just turn this thing on before I overthink it. Right. Jarvis will be with you the whole time. Just get Clint, destroy the bridge, get out. I guess we're jumping back to the past. Well, here goes nothing. There's a large convoy approaching the facility. Dr. Rappuccini is scheduled to meet it on arrival. That must be Clint. Any way to get a message to him? I can try, but you'll need to get me closer. Okay, we don't have a lot of time. Just guide me to it. It's really gonna suck if this is like their laundry truck. Katie? Oh my god. What are you doing here? Saving you, dummy. You don't understand. I agreed to this. What? AIM has sent their forces to recapture the prisoners. Uh, explain on the way. We gotta move. We have to destroy Monica's bridge for both sides, okay? Trap her weapon in one timeline before it causes any more damage. Kate, I'm sorry. I 
I have to go. You better come back, all right? I'll try, but if I don't... Nope, not having that conversation, okay? So just get back to the convoy before Monica realizes you're gone. Let's get to the bridge. Jarvis? Aim has sent their forces to recapture the prisoner. Again? Tachyon pulses. My readings are... Prescriptions are messing with time now. It's getting worse. Stay with me, buddy. Another wave's coming. Let's find cover. Right away. Ah. Kate, I, I know you don't want to hear this, but if Clint can't make it through in time... We destroy the bridge. I know. I'm sorry, Kate. It won't come to that. Right. But if it does... I can do it. All right. Let's shut this vomit machine down for good. Get us control. Once it's open, expose the power cells while we give Clint a chance to come through. You'll need to approach the time bridge so I can initiate a proximity override. Okay. Jarvis will deal with security while I get the bridge open. Okay. We're doing this.